I graduate at the Faculties of Arts, Dulalongo University, a theater department, and I love performance. Then I continue my graduate degree at West Virginia University in theater, and I achieve uh, on creating the musical theater is a Thai traditional theater called Lige. And then I move on to have my own troupe to do uh, experimental theater for John Guare, Musica. Then I feel like um, I want to do something that I really love is filmmaking. So I spent three years program on the graduate school, teach schools of the arts. That how I began my career as a filmmaker. I graduated from there um, with my classmates like Spike Lee, uh, David Rosenfield. Um, in that year is the year that we were trained to be a pioneer filmmaker in the United States on the East Coast. And I only, me, that I move on to the documentary filmmaking. I began my filmmaking at the border of Thailand to document refugees' life they all displaced from their own country. I did remember their eyes. They feel of, of hope to live for. In, in the midst of life crisis, in the midst of that own displacement, that really moved me a lot about humanity. Then I first become um, kind of director, production manager, and a small group that led by um, the outstanding scholar in Thailand, Dr. Matani Ratanin. I walk along the border of Thailand. Behind me is a cameraman and the soldiers. And I walk in the front. And then I caught my eye that uh, a red Khmer Rouge soldier. He stood there to watch us at, on his territory. I look at him with the gun, and I know that the young Khmer Rouge soldier always just shot everybody if he didn't feel that he was, you know, in a safe place. So I stopped, and I looked face to face with him. Inside of me, I said to myself that I just graduated from NYU and I'm going to die right now. It could happen in a second if he shot me and he shot the rest and he gonna get killed by the so Thai soldier. I stood there in a minute and I took a deep breath. Then I said to um, look at him again, and I said, let's go, let's move on. And he looked at me and he nod his head, like uh, he give me life back. And then he blowed down his machine gun. It was the first time in my life that I challenged the crisis. And I move on, and then I began to um, interview, and that's the first piece of film about how we can save the culture. And that was my first filmmaking. After that experience, I had a chance to continue my PhD degree called Performance Studies 
that I learned all kinds of uh, cross disciplines from social anthropology to performance theories and I became performance theorist. After 50 years of you know doing field work at that time I joined volunteer to do uh, build diversity the concept of diversity in New York. Um, that's the time that the mayor uh, Giuliani wants to you know deconstruct the, the concept of melting pot and to acknowledge all the ethnic groups that live together but learn how to accept each other and accept the differences. That's how I began my career. The feature documentary that I did after I got the title of Emerging Filmmaker for Women in Film in 2007 in Los Angeles is the Building for Life, Moving AIDS to the Positive Light. I returned home and I had a chance to meet a group of Thai women watched. They joined the UN group in order to talk about how we can um, acknowledge about AIDS in Asia. At that time, AIDS is a silent epidemic in Asia, including Thailand. And I went to the UN in order to listen about how women could be accepted and, and live with AIDS with um, dignity. That's what how I be, began, um, began to talk about women living with AIDS. It's not about dying. So I began to come back. That's how I learned to connect with the locals. That's the film that uh, got the financial support for completion film from the Ministry of Culture and allow this film to be shown in the Thai film showcase at the 64th anniversary of Cannes Film Festival. The second feature film is called Elephants in Motion, Tales of Life Transformation. That this is the one that really got world distributed and also got um, uh, 18 awards in three months from Los Angeles to Jakarta, Indonesia. I am very happy to meet all of you around the world who are distributors, TV commissioners, and all producers that you are going to come to Thailand and meet me who are also filmmaker who develop a lot of projects on European media platform and willing to you know guide you and discuss with you with other teams that you might want to find out how to approach it because that's the meaning of building for life, building a bridge between cultures through media. Girl, please.